Hello, hello, hello. I feel like taking you back to the class again and I feel like it's very, very important for you to have the understanding of what I'm talking about here today. We're still on AIDS as a, uh, HIV as a subject, HIV and AIDS as a subject. And most of the time uh, I hear people talk about AIDS and HIV, but I feel there is a misinformation somewhere. And that is what I feel I should correct now what is hiv and what is aids hiv is simply a human immuno immunodeficiency virus it's a virus that attacks the immune system of a human being destroys it completely and we all know once the defense system of anything any kingdom or anything is destroyed that kingdom or that thing is vulnerable to any other attack from any other uh, things or people that are around. So when the immune system of the body, which is the defense system of the body, is destroyed, then the body is vulnerable to any other infections or any other, any other thing that can cause any diseases to the body. And once we get to that, the immune system has completely been destroyed and then the body is, uh, uh, is laid vulnerable to any other infections. And then those infections start showing their uh, signs and symptoms. And then we reach, that's when we get to the level that we call AIDS, acquired immuno, immuno, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And we talk about a syndrome, this is when uh, the body shows different signs of different diseases at the same time, no, no, at the same time. That is now when we say that this person is AIDS positive. But a person can be HIV positive and never ever get to the uh, stage of AIDS positive if they only do what the doctor is requesting them to do, if they take their medication with a uh, hundred percent adherence they might live with that virus for the longest time without ever or ever getting to the uh, stage of aids what the ARVs do they suppress the uh, they suppress the virus in the body making the body stronger again and the functioning of the body restoring the functioning of the body and the body becoming strong again protecting your white blood cells from being destroyed by the virus and that means the body will be stronger and stronger as it has always been with any other person and uh, this is to uh, each and every person Someone can live with HIV, I repeat this, someone can live with HIV and never get to the stage of AIDS. That means that someone can be HIV positive but not AIDS positive. But every person who is AIDS positive has HIV. That is the difference. Now, once we have gotten this, I think we are good and we will use our words in the right way, I'm a, uh, satisfactorily when we are addressing this issue. Someone's HIV positive is just HIV positive, they are not AIDS positive. Someone's AIDS positive, it's either this person, they are bedridden, receiving treatment, maybe at home on their beds, or they've been uh, admitted somewhere in a hospital. Someone's AIDS positive, but someone's HIV positive is just like any other person is HIV negative and they're walking around, doing their working, doing whatever they do, doing their daily chores uh, without any problem. That is what you need to understand. Not every person who is HIV positive is AIDS positive. Not every person who is HIV, who is HIV positive is AIDS positive. But every person who is AIDS positive has HIV. Do we agree on that? And that is what I thought we should learn today. In case you have any question, you have any question about the same, you're free to ask that question and I'll be free to answer you. And we'll be talking about these things until people get the understanding and we use the right words. Instead of stigmatizing people, we need to support them. There are words that we use that are so stigmatizing that they are helping people to get out of those situations that they are in. Thank you so much. Until next time we meet, keep subscribing. Yep, keep subscribing. Yep, keep subscribing. Share and leave your comment. Any question, we will answer that question. Thank you so much and God bless you.